Hi everyone, it's Joanne with The Work in Progress. And if you're interested in seeing how I created this adorable little scenery inside of this painted cloche, stay tuned. Don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more DIY projects like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so let me show you what you're going to need to create this project. Uh, first, you'll need a glass cloche uh, with some kind of top on it if you like. Now, if you don't happen to have a cloche handy, you can use an old glass uh, pickle jar or a mayonnaise jar. And then you can hot glue or E6000 on some kind of knob to the top. You're also going to need some kind of base for that glass piece. I happen to have this Lazy Susan little piece here that I thrifted a while back. It was this blonde wood underneath. Now, I wasn't crazy about that color, so I went ahead and just put some Waverly wax on it, and it darkened it up, so I, I, I like this a lot better. That's just my personal taste. You'll also need some kind of little cutout. I chose this chick here, and the cutout is going to be need to be sized so that it fits onto your glass piece, and I'll explain that better as we go along. Uh, you'll need double-sided tape or some contact paper, something that will help you to put your cutout, in my case, the little chick here, on temporarily onto your glass piece. So whatever method is going to work for you. Uh, let me see. You will also, well, we might need some little tea lights. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Some chalk paint or chalk of your choice, paint of your choice. I'm going to use some reindeer moss, some florals. Uh, I would suggest, depending on the size of the clothes that you have, smaller florals. This is really the only thing that I had handy, so I'm just going to go with it. I could use those or I could use these little wedding picks that I thrifted quite some time ago. Uh, paintbrush and I think that's just about it. So I'm going to move the camera down so hopefully you can see a little bit better what I'll be doing. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. I did forget two items that you're going to need as well for the project. Um, just a pair of scissors and you'll need some kind of little adorableness to go inside of your cloche once you are all finished. I chose these two little chicks, which explains or will explain why I chose the little chick cutout. So I went ahead and cut a piece of contact paper that is about the same size as my chick, just to make things easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my my graphite paper on top of that contact paper and then set my little chick on. That way I'm going to make sure that I get the entire outline of the chick. So using my pen, I'm just going to go ahead and follow the outline of the chick. You don't need any of this interior here. All you need is the outline. Let's make sure that's coming through, and it is. That's good. Okay, there's our little chick. You can see him right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out now. Now, it doesn't matter really what method you use uh, to get your little, I'll call it a decal. Uh, it doesn't matter what method you use, as long as you get a method that is going to allow you to place your little chick or whatever you have decided to put on your cloche temporarily. Okay, almost finished with him. I hope this comes out the way I see it in my mind. <laughs> so I've cut out my little chick here. 
I'm going to pull the paper off the back of him. Ugh. Come on now. There we are. There we go. So now I have my chicky stick, my sticky chick. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my cloche. Let's see, I washed this all up. What is that? Got a black mark on my cloche there. I have no idea what that is. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put him on. Put him. Actually, I'm going to pull him down a little bit. There we are. Okay, so I have put him onto the cloche. Oh, I try not to get it wrinkled here. There we are. And as tight as you can, at least I, this is my thought, as tight as you can, get him onto your cloche. Because what we're going to be doing now is taking our chalk paint and painting our cloche. Now you can see where the chick that you have on here, once you peel him off, that's going to be clear. The rest of your cloche is going to be all white. Now just a tip that may help from the paint seeping underneath, brush away from your chick. Don't do up and down strokes. Your up stroke will, um, it may anyway, get paint underneath of your little decal here. And I'm sure this is going to need more than one coat. So I am going to go ahead and finish painting my cloche. And once I've got coverage on it that I am happy with, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I am back. And I have painted two coats of chalk paint on my cloche. And I'm pretty happy with the coverage. I see a little spot right there now, but I will go back and touch that up once the video is finished. So let's go ahead and peel off our little decal here and keep our fingers crossed that the paint did not seep under. Okay, so far, so good. We have one little spot up on the top there and peel this off slowly so that you don't I think if you were to peel it off quickly you might risk peeling off some of this paint here as well so I'm just going nice and slow all right there not bad not bad at all there's a couple of little spots there's one little spot right here you might be able to see where the paint did seep under so i'm just going to scratch this up that off with this little tool that i have here yep just going to scratch that off a little bit and make him and i apologize that you can't see exactly what it is that i'm doing but i need to have this in full focus so i just scratched off a little bit there and i'm going to scratch off a little bit here just trying to round off some edges, clear up some spots where the paint seeped under a little bit. Overall though, I am really happy with how that came out. Okay, so there we have our cloche. Can you see where we're going with this? I'm gonna set it aside, because right now we're gonna work on decorating the bottom. Now, while I was off camera waiting for the paint to dry, I did find some additional florals from a piece that I had at my workplace that I had brought home and just not using any longer. So I found these florals and this greenery here. So what I'm going to do, got my reindeer moss, reindeer moss. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and use the double-sided tape to hopefully stick down this greenery and just kind of hold it into place a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put another piece on top of it 
and it's I'm okay using the double-sided tape right now because I'm going to put reindeer moss on top of this there we go now I will have to you can see how that's lying to the side when I go to put the cloche on I will have to stand that up so it is not tipped over let me go ahead and put the other piece there And we have this piece right here. There we go. And I'll take another piece of tape. This will just help to hold it down some. Okay. Then I'm going to start taking my reindeer moss. And I'm just going to put it down. I'm not going to, I'm not going to adhere the reindeer moss. And luckily, I have a little bit more right here. I've said before, I love using reindeer moss, but man, this stuff gets all over everywhere. <laughs> and I think what I'll do is roll a little bit up and place it behind. Oh, yes, look at that. I placed a little roll of the reindeer moss behind that little twig there, and it stood it right up. So that, that was, I'm, I'm happy about that. We do the same over here. I do want to make sure that I get all of my reindeer moss inside. There we are. And then I have decided I am going to use some fairy lights on this because I think it's going to need a little bit of brightness inside of the cloche since the cloche has been painted solid white. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those in. Maybe put a little bit of the reindeer moss on top to hide it a bit, but it will still give us the light that we want. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bury, bury that. Okay, now I've got my little chicks. Just going to set them in there so they have a little bit of a backdrop that's leaning way too far forward there. There we go. And I'm not going to secure these guys in any way because once this is set on the shelf, it's not going to move. There is no one. No, I don't have any little ones around that I have to worry about. Oh, let me... So all I'm doing right now is just fussing a bit with the reindeer moss to cover up some areas. Now I have my florals here. So you can, I mean, you could do anything you want with this. You can, you can use florals, you can use eggs. I mean, it, it's really the only, what do they say? The only limitation is your creativity, what you can come up with. I'll put that in there. I think that looks pretty cute. I have one more, but I don't think I'm going to use it. So... Now, with the clear part facing forward, I'm going to go ahead and put my cloche on top of here, getting everything inside. And that is going to be the tricky part. And I have this tool here, which is actually uh, for my nails, but it really comes in handy for a lot of craft uses. But whatever you can find, I'm just really, I'm just trying to stick that reindeer moss underneath of the cloche so that it doesn't stick out. Whoop, one of my lights just popped out. My little fairy lights. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead all the way around here. And stick everything underneath so that there is nothing sticking out. But there you have it. See, when you peek inside, you have the little... Let me make sure it's where I want it to be. Oh, I think I want to turn this around just a little bit. There we go. And forgive me for turning this this way, but I want to be able to see exactly what it is that I'm doing here. I want to poke this all under 
so far I think this has been the trickiest part of this craft is getting everything under sticking out getting it all underneath of that cloche how many times can I say cloche in this video there we are turn it on so it gives us a little bit of light inside and then there you have it see when you peek inside you have that little scenery in there I love it this actually did turn out just the way I was hoping it would. So please, in the comment section down below, if you enjoyed this craft, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you think it's something that you're going to try, let me know that too. And maybe you can tag me on Instagram once you finish yours so I can see your finished project. I hope you enjoyed, everyone. And as always, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now until my next video.